How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Frank. I'm joined by Bowie Knife. Hello. Welcome back to Let's Play Spider-Man. So, we kind of got right next to the, the objective, in case you couldn't tell. I mean, uh, I, I don't know. Do you see the objective? It looks pretty far away, Cotton. Uh, hold on a second. Let me see if we can get closer. Hello! I am Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's it's a good thing we can land head first and still be okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Sir, you promised... No bad touch. You made daddy angry. <laughs> <laughs> Open it or you'll be like him. Open it or you'll be bad touched next. It... Why do those like, guys... Who knew that out of all the Spider-Man villains, Mr. Negative would be a badass? Like, they made him cool. Yeah. I really wasn't familiar with him in the comics. So. Me either. Into the lab. Time to KO those snipers. Well, there you go. Oh, he was already safe to. He wasn't. Oh, yeah, but the guy in the middle was. This is so hilarious watching you do this in a t shirt. <laughs> it's Spider Man? Well, we know that he's an ESU alum now. Yeah. Well, now the New York now more New Yorkers can like relate to him. Dude, I'm so good at the stealth in this game. Easier to take these guys out if they're split up. No shit. We need to get through these demons quick before Lee gets a hold of the anti serum. There you go. You guys are actually gonna be those guys, aren't you? Now well, the sniper's looking at them. Oh go. There we go. No, the problem is they were looking at each other. There you go. You look cold. Have a cocoon. Let me tuck you in for bed. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I like to imagine he literally is just saying the fuck in Chinese, but they're just like, ah, it's only T for team. That guy it. over there is looking at him right now. These guys off stealthily. There you go. Nice. God, I don't know that song stuck in my head now. I mean, I can say. If I lived in a man, no sins, and you told your friends, and they hold your hands, baby, never mind, never mind. I can sing Here Comes the Sun for you if you want. I have been listening to uh, the Beatles channel on uh, Sirius XM Radio. I've just been listening to the Beatles. You are leaving the mission. Well, if you put these guys in, like, a normal spot, wouldn't be a problem. Anybody want to see some cool? Surprise, motherfucker. Some fries, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I want french fries. Here you go. Could have sworn there was another guy down here. <clears throat> there he is. Up, oh, he's dead. I mean, knocked out. Because the Spider-Man does not kill. Maybe. He might go. I don't know what he does on his weekends. Okay, PS4, stop telling us the Wi Fi is lost. No one cares. I know, right? Makes me want to turn off notifications. Or fix my Wi Fi. Try to do this quietly. Or both. Or both. <laughs> There's something over there. Fuck! Oh, God! <laughs> First of all, they have plenty of time yeah, to scream, oh my god, help me. You're gonna have to do the web strike takedown. Or I can just do this. Or go to that one, yeah. Spider-Man, leave now. My men will handle this. Yeah, they did Save a really good job, huh? Lee wiped out the agents stationed here. They're not handling anything. You have been warned, superhero. Are you jealous? Is it the suit? People get jealous of the suit. I wore the t-shirt so you wouldn't get jealous of it. <laughs> it's like, you know, Sable, I was trying to be nice, but stop wearing the suit. There's one guy left over there at the end. There's two. Oh, two of them. Yeah, there's a few. How are 
you still... S sir, fuck off. Get her. Boop. Ah, bugger it. You literally didn't see that coming. Nice. So I'm gonna use the trip mines. Cool. We'll yeah, I had to track. fuck it up. But oh, come on. Oh, you also Bitch. have double takedowns. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, not anymore. There you go. Merry Christmas to you. That's fun to do. Okay, well, fuck you then. And that worked out for you. Come on, don't you guys have anything better to do? I really wish Sable would cut me some slack. We should be on the same team. Especially since I took out all of your bases. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all your base now belong to us. Yeah. Ha! Ouch! Double ouch. All your base have belonged to us. There you go. Free of charge from the Spider-Man. My name is Spider-Man. There we go. Right to the doors. <laughs> okay. I send my agents after you. They'll take care of you, did they? Did they? I don't think they did. Why are you so heavy? <sighs> For fuck's sake, Sable. God, you are a bitch. <laughs> you harass my men, destroy my equipment, and cost my client millions. Give me one good reason I should not kill you right now. Listen, I don't like you, you don't like me. But Lee has your client inside this building right now, and he's gonna kill him if we don't do something. We could fight each other. We could fight Lee, but not both. Guess that was a good reason, huh? <laughs> That's right, put your guns down, bitch. She just, like, shoots you in the fucking kneecap. She's like, I, mean we're good? I won't kill you well, only because you're an ESU. <laughs> She's <laughs> like, we went to the same college. He's out of control. For fuck's sake. I will talk to them. Oh. Huh. Neat. Okay, Lee. No more running. This ends tonight. Speaking of running. Ow. Wall running. Oh, well. I have to find a way to reach. Well now I'm disappointed. I know. The man who built feast. Maybe if I remind him about all those horrible experiences that were done on him as a kid. No way to go but down. Is that? Is this just levitating? Mm-hmm. The fuck? Yeah, everything in the room is. Did we take more scorpions' acid? Oh shit! Oh, hello. Oh, come on! You sound as clinical as Osborne. My parents died because of me. Because of what Osborne did to me. You're more than your Ow. past. Don't let it control you. I tried so hard to make my parents proud, to honor their legacy. And that work out for you. But to truly honor them, Osborne must see justice. I won't let you do this, Mark.
bullet time. Lee's pain. His anger. It's fueling his power. If I punch him, it only makes him stronger. He's like the Hulk, but with mental anguish. <laughs> Rather than anger. Oh, that, I just, that was, that was kind of sad. I was hoping for a joke. I wanted to laugh. And you were just like, nope. Moments earlier. This is the only sample. Well then. Manny had a little bit of hope. Oh great, now it's a Martin Lee fight with a sword. Fucking sweet! Osborne must be punished. His cancer has infected this city hmm. for How does this work? There we go. He won't see it unless he stop now. I'll never stop. You might. Did you see that? Yeah. He was like turning back to Martin Lee. There you go. See? No, technology is good. There we go. Are you an ESU alumni? Because as you can tell from my shirt, I am. <laughs> we can totally chat. Youch. Oh. So do we just have to keep dodging him? I believe so. There we go. The only thing on my head is my mask. But not my ESU hat. <laughs> Dude, what if there was an ESU hat that went with this outfit? That'd be pretty dope. There you go. Are you done, Martin? Come on, Martin. The fuck? Holy smoke and a pancake. <laughs> I don't these things again. Holy shit. Can't do it again. He did it Bet again. you can't do it again, again. Oh, my skills. <laughs> that is a big deal. <laughs> that is a big 
There you go. You and share a grave. That sounds kind of intimate. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I like this. Uh, <laughs> caskets are very close proximity. If I remember correctly, like it's there's no air in there. It doesn't sound like a good time, all things considered. Hmm. Big demon. Shit. There you go. Hello, demon. There we go. Alright, we got everything going. I like how we're like sharing boss battles. Like I get a boss battle, and you get a boss battle. Yeah. We're going back and forth. Oh, did that hurt? Did that hurt, Mr. Negative? Man, that was my nickname in elementary school. Oh. My will is stronger than yours. Nah, you're just a dick. Well, my will was filled out last week. Well, my will is notarized. <laughs> <laughs> Do we just have to kill all these guys? I think so, yeah. Okay. Start doing double takedowns. I bet that would be fun. Boop. There you go. There you go. There you go. Battle focus. Oh, shit. Hey, you can Bugger take him. Hi. <laughs> Hello, people outside. <laughs> Hello, people outside my window. Mm. Okay, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, well, you guys can just fuck right off. There we go. Oh, these guys are just gonna keep coming. We still gotta keep dodging Lee. <laughs> yes. Whoa. You can shoot lightning? Like, now I feel like Mr. Negative should be in a movie. Why isn't he? There we go. Alright! Come on, Martin. Come on! You can do it! Come on, Martin! Martin, you being a dick. Okay, I honestly thought I was using the force to like, try to get the sword back. How does Spider-Man help people? He kicks them in the fucking face. Staying positive. Osborne needs to pay. I know. No. But this is the wrong way, Mark. Hi, Otto. I'm gonna pass it off to Bowie for this next one. Because if this isn't the next boss fight, it's gonna be the last one. How dare you attack the nice philanthropist? in his fucking eye. Otto, you're really being a dick. Okay, what happens if, like, he takes off the mask one more like this? Don't do it. Otto? Look 
look on your face. You can't imagine how satisfying it is. Ready for your final act? You know, he mastered traversal really fucking quick. Right? <laughs> oh, we're bleeding. Hey. Hey. Where's Otto? Gone. I would not worry about him right now. He needs a hospital. No. No hospital. Don't, don't reveal my secret identity. Hmm. He needs a hospital. You can't make someone go to the fucking hospital. <laughs> He's like, no, no hospital. Why? No insurance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I made that joke right as I was drinking water, so I almost fucking did a spit take. <laughs> He needs a hospital. Need Let's bring him to feast. No doctors here? Well, who's running this place? Me, mostly. Oh, okay. Well, it's been a while, but I'll do my best. I'll need masks, uh, gloves, whatever you have to sterile. Miles is like, got it. What does sterile mean? You can thank me by not dying. <laughs> oh my I God. recognize that ESU sure from anywhere. Imagine she just goes in. Peter! Oh, fuck. Fuck. P P uh, 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 Peter picked uh, a pack of pickled peppers. Um, yeah. <laughs> but he needs rest. I thought he said he lives. Like, he lives. He lives! <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> like lightning strikes in that moment. He lives! Oh, fuck. That lightning hit him right in the face. He's dead. <laughs> I like how only the mask. Um, you just dirty. said, "Where's May?" and uh, MJ didn't have a very good look on her face. Oh, for oh, fuck's sake! Okay. Come on! Oh, who could have seen that coming? They say she oh wait, she coughed up blood earlier, didn't she? They say she should go. She could go at any moment. Don't worry, it's probably just an actress hired by Norman Osborn. I need to find Otto. He has the anti serum. <laughs> Maybe you can't. Maybe Spider-Man needs help from his friend Peter. What? Peter helped build those arms, remember? If anyone can find a weakness, it's him. But I finished all those puzzles at the lab. It's gotta be in those puzzles. <laughs> Alright, what is this nonsense of the spider that keeps falling around with the number 12? Does that say 12? Mm -hmm. I didn't notice it was 12. I thought it had like... <gasps> it's gonna bite Miles. It's gonna bite Miles. Miles Morales. Spider-Man. Well, there's gonna be two Spider-Man in this universe. Oh, I'm so... I'm so good. I'm so good. Maybe it's this one. Well done. Well done, Insomniac. <laughs> like my cat's sitting on the bed freaking the fuck out. Like, what are you, yeah, what are you guys doing? Like... <laughs> he's so adorable. Man. He's just chilling back there. Okay. Really hope Peter doesn't die in this game, then. Because if he dies and Miles becomes the new Spider-Man, it would be canon. But it would just... It would piss me right off. <laughs> like... <laughs> No, you know what I think is gonna happen? Like, I think I he's gonna—he's gonna realize that Peter's under his wing. Yep. 
like re- uh, realize that Peter is Spider-Man, and, and the, Peter's like, gonna kind of train like, him. Train him. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Imagine in the sequel, you could do co-op. So one of you is Miles, and the other one's Peter. What if, like, in the sequel, they only give Miles the new suits? So everyone's just, like, fighting over who gets to be Miles and who has to be Peter. Well, now they've announced that this is supposed to be, like, the Iron Man of the Marvel video game universe. Like, there's going to be a bunch of different sequels tied into this universe? Yeah, like, now they're making a video game universe. Nice. Ha! Oh, I, that's one of the secret pictures, by the way, is to take a picture of that. I love it! Oh, we're right at the end. We should go do some side missions. Done. Oh wait. <laughs> so this is your last chance to do stuff before the end of the story. I'd love to, but I don't have anything to do. Strange, violent lady. What if, like, we didn't do the puzzles in between? It's just like this is the last chance to do anything. Uh, but, but everything's <laughs> everything's in there though. No. <laughs> Oh, okay. I was about to say, that's not the suit we had, but alright. No, you're right. Fuck yes, you, I guess. <laughs> you did the impossible, Doc. But now I have to destroy it. With a little creation of my own. Peter, why don't you just ask him if he can hug it out and then just, like, do, hey, watch this. Click, and then they off go the arms. Oh my god, that is really cool. Oh my god. We are about to fight Doc Ock on top of Oscorp building. Nice. You know, Osborne, you're doing really good keeping your shit together, because I would have fucking died of a heart attack at that point. Before they mop you off the pavement. Tell them what you did. I never. Everything you have is built on lies. Lies. I oh, know. You dropped the goblin serum. You stole my company, my ideas. Imagine if he just fucking whipped out a pumpkin bomb out of nowhere and just, and just fucking killed him. And then, like as he's falling, he just puts on the mask as, and laughs. As and the glider falling, comes out of nowhere. Yeah, as he's falling, the glider comes out of nowhere and, and saves him. And you just hear the fucking like Willem Dafoe voice. <laughs> <laughs> The truth is, you were only ever worth a damn when you worked for me. The truth is, you could never accept that I'm better than you. You're a failure, Otto, and you always will be. Who could have seen that coming? Okay, I actually did thought he died. <laughs> Fuck! 
yes! Surprise, motherfucker! Yeah. Give me the anti serum! Otto, you've worked your whole life to help people. Fighting the wrong man. But I have it your way. It's interesting that you he's never time, called Doc the Ock in the uh, subtitles. He's only ever called Otto. Oh. Alright, we gotta web him up. But not like that. Generate gadget refills. No! He always bounces back! He has to lose everything! I mean, his son's already sick. What more do you want? No weaknesses. You're a failure. I believe your weakness is your fucking anger problem. I'm sorry, how many people have you killed? Right? <laughs> He's just pulling them out of thin air. People Web. are dying. They need the anti serum now. I will cure the city after I bring down us. I don't think you know how this works. This is fucking awesome. Okay. Oh my god, it's just fucking chucking Let's one after another. City. Then we can do whatever you want! I already know what I want! Now get out of my way before I really hurt you! I mean, we've been close to death a couple of times now, so... Oh my god. Does he just chuck four and then... two? Three? How much is Osborne paying you to protect him? I'm trying to save the city! How is your back not broken yet? Um, I don't know. Put away fucking in it. Okay, back to swinging around. We're going down, down, and nearly around. Baby, we're going down, swinging. Ah, close enough. Did 
that hurt. That can't be good. That really can't be good. Such a disappointment. Parker. Holy shit. You knew? I tried to warn you, Peter. But you didn't listen. You knew. I won't let you win. This means too much to me. Not more than it means to me. I just imagine he's not even, like, upset that his aunt is dying. He's upset because he knew his secret identity but didn't say anything. Like, that's why he's mad. I think he's mad because he knew. Now he knows that Otto was hurting Peter. If he wasn't fighting Spider-Man, he knew he was hurting Peter. Ah, well, maybe that too. Oh my god, we're fighting on the side of the building. Oh, this is amazing. We don't have any webs. Oh, there's no health anymore, either. We interrupt Spider-Man to bring you Mike Tyson Punch-Out. Building edition. Holy shit. It's fucking awesome. This is probably one of the greatest bosses I've ever seen. <laughs> this is amazing. Tell me this isn't one of the coolest things you've done. Greatest enemy. You did. He's a super villain now. <laughs> Good job. Christ, Peter, just rip the thing out. Oh, God. If you want to change the world, you have to be the kind of man who can make the hardest decisions. <gasps> I couldn't. Agree! More! Wait, aren't they both gonna die enough? The anti serum. <laughs> Fuck Otto, but get the anti serum. I should have known you'd turn on me, just like all the others. Turn? Turn? I've worshipped you, your mind, your conscience, wanting to help others, the way you never gave up. That's because men like us have a duty, a responsibility, to use our talents in the service of others. Even if they don't appreciate it, we have to do what's best for those beneath us, whether they understand it or not. No, you're wrong! 
You were everything I wanted to be. You just threw it away. Yes, of course. You're right, Peter. Oh, I see that now. The neural interface affected my mind. But I can fix it. We can fix it together. If you'll help me, I'll do everything I can. I'll make sure you get the best help. No! If they put me away, they'll take my arms! I'll be trapped in this useless body! Please, Peter. That wasn't me. You said you'd never abandon me. You promised. Remember? And of course, you rest easy, knowing your secret is safe with me. You do what you think is best, Doc. It's all any of us can. Peter? Even when it hurts like hell. Peter, where are you going? Peter? Still viable. We'll need the entire sample as a base to produce more doses. How long will that take? A few hours. Maybe a day. What if we use it to cure someone right now? Then there won't be enough to cure the others. I'll give you a few minutes. gonna be okay, ma'am. I've got the cure right here. Take off your mask. I want to see my nephew. You knew? I've known for a while. I never wanted you to worry. I did. And I am so proud of you. And then what we do, all the people you say. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do.
So? Hi. Mary Jane Watson, associate editor. Congrats. Oh, thank you. I knew you could do it. <laughs> what about you? Find a job yet? Oh, no, but, uh... I'll be right with you, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was actually considering maybe a career change. Hmm? Yeah, I think I might want to become a chef. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's... You're a scientist. A good one. I've seen, seen you make dumplings. I, I created a monster octopus that almost destroyed the city. So. Yeah. I mean, you do make a hell of a chicken curry. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Still working on my dumplings, though. There it is. <laughs> Called it. Going camping? Oh, uh, my uh, new place isn't going to be ready for about a week, so I'm going to be crashing with Miles for the next few nights. Oh. You know... You can always stay at my place. Only if you want to. No, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, yes. I mean, no, no. I don't. I not want to. But meaning, I, I, I do want to. But only if you do. I never stopped wanting to. Me neither. Please tell me we have another Stanley cameo. Damn it. Yeah, oh. he just comes out, PDA. <laughs> no, he just comes out and he's just like, take that brand new day. <laughs> I'm sorry, one more day of that fucking story <clears throat> arc. Wow. That was so much to take in. That was a hell of an ending. Wow. That ending made me genuinely sad. Yeah. Like, I was honestly kind of expecting it. I was expecting Aunt May's death, to be honest. Like, ever since I saw her cough up blood, I'm like, she's infected, there's no way that this is gonna end well for her. Which is sad to think, but... Mm -hmm. I honestly expected her death to end with Peter quoting Peter Pan again, because that's how it ended in the comics. You literally restart to recite that line from Peter Pan, second star on the right and straight on till morning as may, may pass away. Which is really fucking sad, but Jesus Christ, that is one hell of an ending. Well, you've heard the theory about Peter Pan, right? That yeah, he's actually he's, the angel of death? Yeah. That's why the children never grew up. They were being taken to heaven. Childhood ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Childhood destroyed childhood tainted that was really fucking loud i'm gonna have to cut that out oh man i don't even really know what to say i mean i don't understand how insomniac managed to hit every single cool thing about spider-man like in yeah. one go if green goblin was somehow in this it would have been like a complete fucking mind blow. overload like, I, yeah you had the sinister six come in which was fantastic you had like a new origin for doc ock because before it was mm -hmm. just a lab accident and this one it wasn't an accident and peter had a hand directly in creating him mm -hmm. you had mary jane being more than just a side character and actually doing mm -hmm. shit miles morales I swear to god since this is a marvel game maybe there's like a post credit sequence and we just see norman working on a goblin serum, and maybe that's why Harry's sick. Maybe he's been testing the goblin serum on Harry, and he sent him to Europe to, like, send him to the finest doctors in the world. And now I'm theorizing. Well, now we're watching the full credits. <laughs> okay, I thought that was Mr. Negative with a cane, and I'm like, yeah, nothing says supervillain, like, I need another leg to walk on. I feel like it's kind of ironic, too, that a game that is a Sony exclusive is about a Superman, a super, a superhero yeah. that's owned by Sony. Technically, yeah, because... Spider-Man is still owned by Sony. Disney never bought them out. They just got the rights to Spider-Man himself. And then any villains that weren't in the original uh, trilogy, which is why we have Vulture. 
Oh, there totally is. There's totally an after credit sequence. I'm not an expert or anything, but I think it's in the way that you ask her. Uh, I'm getting too nervous. <laughs> hey, all right, so where do you want this? Uh, right over here is fine. All right. Hey, so Pete, yeah. I uh, kind of got to talk to you about something I can't tell my mom about. What's up? Well, um, weird things have been going on. Like physically. Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, you're at that age where, where your, your oh, body okay. starts to change. And so you may be noticing some areas, no. for example. <laughs> uh, I think it's, I think it's better that I just um, I show you. Show no, you. no, 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 no. It's pretty weird, right? They're bros. <laughs> Skip fuck right off. We're not skipping. There's more credits, which means there's another credit. Dude, that was awesome. That was so cool. That I'm really, was... I'm glad that both of them as Spider-Man are like interacting with each other, unlike in the comics. Actually, did they ever interact with each other as Spider-Man? Like both of them as Spider-Man? I honestly don't know. Cause... Pretty sure they did. They might have, because Marvel loves to do crossovers, and there's like the Spider Verse. So I mean, Spider Man is a lot more experienced in the multiverse than any other Marvel superhero, for sure. Yeah, he's definitely visited more. <laughs> Spider Man Noir, Ultimate Spider Man, yep. Spider Man 2099. There's the Zombie One. There's the fucking one. Spider Punk. Yeah, Miles Morales. Which is the other Ultimate Spider-Man. Yeah. Um, Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy, Spider-Man. Uh, technically, we could say the one where Peter's daughter becomes Spider-Girl. Because mm -hmm. he actually becomes Spider-Man a couple Armored of times. Armored Spider. Ah, oh, yeah, I forgot about him. Mm -hmm. Rich Douchebag Spider-Man. Yeah, Rich Douchebag Spider-Man. <laughs> I mean, if we really want to be technical, the Sam Raimi movies, because that's another version of Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. The Homecoming Spider-Man. Yeah. There's just so many. Sheldon, what do you think? Good job. He's uh, too busy cleaning. <laughs> On your bed, no less. Yeah. I still don't know what to say to this game. It was just the ending was fucking awesome. Sad, but awesome. Yeah, I know. Like it's one of those endings where there's nothing really more to say. Somniac is really making a name for themselves in the last few years. What else have they done? They created one of the best Xbox exclusives that I feel like not many people give enough credit to. It's kind of considered like a cult classic. What is it? Um, oh my god. Sunset Overdrive. I've heard of that, but I've never played it. It's a great game. And Traversal, very much like Spider-Man crazy fucking weird traversal and it's a huge open world I think that's pretty much what made them so good with Spider-Man and that was before they became like a Sony only developer right or was that they're not good? they're not even a Sony only developer really Sony just approached them first hmm. took Sony approached them with Marvel to create a Marvel property specifically for PlayStation yeah well they also did all the Spyro games well not all but one two three mm -hmm. for PS1. Yeah, it's weird. Sunset Overdrive is like their one jump to Xbox, but they're not considered an exclusive an exclusive to Sony, like an exclusive developer to Sony. I don't know if that's going to change, but I don't think that they're considered that quite yet. Yeah, well, it's everyone always says they're just Sony exclusive because they only seem to release games on Sony. Mm. Like, we have Sunset Overdrive for Xbox, but that's about it. You haven't seen anything yeah, on like and it's not like Nintendo the, or anything. It's not like the Xbox... Like Sunset Overdrive is like a third party thing where like they made it for both. Yeah, they it's like made actually it. an exclusive for Xbox. What else they made in the last few years? They made Ratchet and Clank, right? Mm-hmm. 
made yep. those games. They made this. I'm trying to think what else they made because well, they worked on the Ratchet and Clank movie too. I didn't know there was a movie. Yeah, they made the movie to coordinate with the release of the Ratchet and Clank game. Huh. It was in theaters and everything. Oh. I usually don't follow movies that are based on games because they're total shit sometimes. Speaking of movies being made on games, it turns out for the last couple of years there's been a secret Mortal Kombat movie in the works. Really? Which they might finally be able to do it right because now we actually have the technology to yeah, make the those effects good. Yeah, 90s ones were one, fucking bad. One was almost so bad that it was enjoyable. Right. To watch. But the second Annihilation one... Annihilation was just straight garbage. It was just like stilted delivery and shit. Like weird. And you will die. Like, good. Why Why are you being fucking dramatic? Just, yeah. You're gonna die, bitch. Boom. Done. Best delivery. <laughs> I think the biggest missed opportunity in the Mortal Kombat movies is not having Liu Kang do a bicycle kick and go... Does he do that in the games? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 2, 3, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, 4, anytime he does a bicycle kick. He does the bicycle kick and goes, Woo! <laughs> Honestly, I'd be happy with a Mortal Kombat cartoon, but, like, you know, a good one. Well, there's the there fan-created Mortal Kombat TV show. Yeah. It was, like, a web series. And that apparently has been very successful, actually. Hmm. Well, I remember there was, like, a cartoon in, like, the 80s or 90s, and it was really fucking bad <laughs> it was just like it made no sense it almost made it seem like it was a justice league parody or something because mm -hmm. like they had i don't know much about mortal kombat but i know there's like a bunch of different factions fighting against each other for yeah. earth realm mm -hmm. well, not a bunch but there's a few <clears throat> sort of but they all like took all the characters put them on one side and was like justice league like no bad Stop putting Scorpion on the side of good. He's a demonic spawn from hell. I'm just sitting here theorizing, like, what the sequel's gonna do. Like, obviously they're gonna have Miles Morales as Spider-Man in it, because if they don't, that's a fucking wasted opportunity. I really wonder if they're gonna do co-op. Like, a co-op Spider-Man game where you're both swinging throughout the city. You mean, like, two-player? Yeah. Maybe? I would like to know how that would work, though. Mm. It's not going to come for a while, because if they really are going to do like what they did with the MCU... Then they're going to take time and plan stuff out. They're probably going to have a bunch of developers work on a bunch of different superheroes. Yeah. And then I'm sure they're going to do what Marvel did, and just collaborate all of them into one big Avengers game. Maybe. And Spider-Man is going to be like the start of it. it might be the like, good like... thing is, is that this is starting... After Disney buys Fox. So we could have a dope X-Men game. We could have a wicked good Fantastic Four game. Has there even been a good Fantastic Four game? Actually, you know, there was a video game that I played on PlayStation 2. Marvel Ultimate Alliance? No. It was a Fantastic Four game based off of the 2006 movies. Really? And it was actually really good. I genuinely enjoyed it. Again? Really? Yeah. Because those movies were not that good. They weren't that good, but the the game I enjoyed a lot. And I never really had that much of a problem with those Fantastic Four movies. I'm not saying they're the worst movies I've ever seen because they're Silver not. Silver Surfer? Yes. That's a different story, but the first one is really not that bad. Like, Doctor Doom I think... was actually pretty fucking cool. I think the problem is, like, it's a superhero movie, but they don't use their powers very much. They used it, like, the very end, or they used it for pulling pranks or something stupid. They didn't really use it to do much, and when they did use it, it's because of a problem they created. Which is probably what piece Dude, people off Dude, just imagine, so like, there... <laughs> some of the things that happened in the comic books, like, just imagining if those became movies, like... So there was one where all of the multiple universes of... The, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or the Marvel Comic, Comic universe, universe, all were destroyed, and then one planet was made. Um, what was it called? It was called something super ironic, like Battle World or something stupid. Yeah. And it was created by this like deity, and like all of the best fighters from all the best 
multiverses came together and Doctor Doom ended up becoming a fucking god. Yep. And literally it was Doctor Doom versus Black Panther at the very end. Black Panther was the last man standing and he fought him using the Infinity Gauntlet. That sounds fucking awesome. Right? <laughs> Can you imagine that being like like Doctor one Doom of the newer versus an Infinity Gauntlet wielding Black Panther? When was that one released? That like back that, in the eighties, right? The comic book, yeah, that was actually. Or nineties. That maybe. might not have been that long ago. I think it might have been in the two thousands. I don't know. Because right, no. it was like in Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Basically, what happens is Doctor Doom assembles a shitload of the villains of Marvel, and you take on all the heroes of Marvel. You fight against them, <coughs> and his end all plan was to t steal the power of Odin and become a god, and he succeeds. And then you have to go to, like, outer space where the Watchers are. You gotta get a crystal from this species of aliens that I can't remember the name of, but you have to steal something from Galactus. You take those two, and you have to literally get within two feet of Doctor Doom to steal some of his power. However, every time you punch him, he goes flying halfway across the fucking room, so the fight takes three hours. <laughs> <coughs> And then Galactus is just like, they steal from me, I'll destroy their planet. And then he doesn't show up in the sequel. Because fuck you and sequel baiting. Yeah. No, instead they based the sequel basically <coughs> on, like, Civil War. Which, I haven't played the sequel, but told it wasn't that bad. So yeah, that's Spider-Man. These are all... Oh. oh. Ayo! <laughs> Please tell me that these credits haven't just been looping for the past five minutes. No, they haven't. At least it's going faster now. Yeah. You know what would suck if, like, you started this game up again, and it started you, like, right back before the final boss fight? Which it probably does. But imagine watching Aunt May die again, and Peter just realizes that he keeps seeing her die. Irrational Games brings you Spider-Man Infinite. <laughs> Just remembers every single timeline. Oh and the only way that he can get it to stop is by dying from Doc Ock. Because Doc Ock win. that's how that worked. Like, I know a lot of people worked on this game, but I swear to God, it kind of feels like they're just including names of every person in the fucking company. Like, what's the name of the gender? Bob Smith? Okay, can I fucking include him in there? We're near the end. Yeah, this is all the copyright stuff that they could have put at the end. Nah, God, looking at that is really fucking with my eyes. I know, right? Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. I'm gonna watch it on the laptop instead. Oh, we just went oh. past Steve Dicko, who died of a stroke. It was in memory of him. This game is in memory of him. And you drew it, and you went right past it. I couldn't look at the screen. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Don't even fucking... I swear to god, dude, if you called this... Yeah, that's not what I called. Oh my god. 
Your first platinum trophy? No. Dude, Venom is the bad guy in the sequel. Because that's what he was... That's what that was, right? The symbiote suit? Mm -hmm. Or not the suit, but like the symbiote. You can now change the time of day in research stations. Y you did it. You can change what time it is. Antioch suit. Guess, I get it. Guess what else we unlocked? There was a secret suit that I wasn't going to tell you about by 100%ing the game. I really want to see it. But I'm also going to hate myself for it. Is that what I think it is? Yep, I, I had a feeling. <laughs> know why I had a feeling? I have seen pictures of this suit on the internet, and I genuinely thought people were just fucking around. I didn't know this was a real suit. Well, this... This just makes me sad. <laughs> Hello, ladies! <laughs> but do you remember when this showed up in the story? Yeah. When, when he fucking... just all of a sudden was like, all right, we're going to pretend that that never happened. Yep. You know, I had a feeling this was going to show up. I just hoped it would. Fine. Right back to complaining about not having grandchildren. So you're going to take that vacation now? Are you crazy? There's no time for that. The apocalypse didn't happen, which means we've got a city full of loose ends to clean up. Bye, Sounds Sanctum, like a big job. But we're up to it. Not you. For a job this tough, we need... Spider-Cop. Oh. <laughs> you said it! You even did the voice! Okay, don't make it weird. You like me. You really <laughs> like me! You made it weird. Let's go, we've got work to do. I can't wait. Spider-Cop surveys the city. Classic, but seething with turmoil just beneath its calm surface. Uh, what have I done? Fun fact, the voice actor for Spider-Man and the voice actor for Yuri are married. Oh, there's more. There's more. There's more! Crime! Oh my god, there's more crimes after it's done? Look, it even says! 100% done! But there's a crime! Equalizer. Enemies go down in one. Everyone goes down in one hit, including you. Oh. That seems like a bullshit one, but okay. I'm down. Let's try it. How you like the new suit? Hi, guys. You just tried to attack a civilian. Oh. That lasted for about two seconds. Whee! Whee! Oh. Well, it's a good thing the equalizer thing wasn't equipped. Arresting Fisk brought all the small timers out of the woodwork. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's what we're going to call it for this episode. With the return of crime. Oh my god. This means that I never have to stop playing this game. Were you actually going to stop playing this game anyway? I wouldn't have had anything to do. So? Swinging around is fucking fun. Yeah, that's very true. I'm, playing I'm just telling you, dude, like, if they make an Iron Man game... Oh, that would be fucking amazing. I want to see that traversal so bad. And if they make a Captain America game, there better be a frickin' motorcycle for me to ride. Or a truck to steal. Because he did that in the 90s. Hey, old-fashioned B&E. Got a man fist goes away and suddenly it's amateur hour. I wasn't doing anything. Alright, so we're going to leave this episode here. Hope you all enjoyed the series. This was fucking awesome. I don't know what to say about that suit. Jesus Christ. Uh, Bowie, thanks for joining us on this Absolutely. journey. And as always, we will see you all later on. Ciao. Don't you guys watch Neat. horror movies?